afternoon to you and all our listeners. It's always good to be here and uh, greetings to all my colleagues and fellow panelists. And uh, this is a very important topic that we need to make sure that we shed as much of light as possible so that we can help someone out there who mm -hmm. may be in a danger of falling into this problem. Mm -hmm. Islam teaches us to teach our children mm -hmm. from the time they are young mm -hmm. because it is primarily the responsibility of the parent and we are taught that the lap of the mother is the first madrasa or the first school of a child. Mm -hmm. And if all the mothers can take that responsibility of teaching their children how to behave their rights and the rights that they own other they owe other people it will be very important in the growth of these children mm -hmm. when we are at uh, our madrasas or the religious schools like i mentioned in the previ previous week mm -hmm. we teach our children various subjects and each subject is intended at addressing certain issues pertaining to the life of the learner. Mm -hmm. We have a subject which is known as Quran, mm -hmm. learning to read mm -hmm. the word of the Almighty God as revealed in what is termed as the Quran. Mm -hmm. And we also have another subject which is the Hadith, learning the prophetic traditions. Mm -hmm. What are the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on various issues? And then we have another subject which has to do with. Just hold on for a moment. I'm just so even a family because zivo na fatingo ziko wera na pezi ai. Rado zijenga ngi ni rono biya mafungo ni a warayabu na ndi dozi jeshi tamini tayi fumi uvaka warayabu na ndi dawandi shiko bura tingo vajena vafuna. Imam, you can proceed. We have another subject which is akaid. It mm -hmm. is about Islamic beliefs, the things that you have to believe in as a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So from a young age, that child knows what are his or her beliefs as a Muslim. And then we also have the subject, which is a very important subject, which is known as akhlaq wal adab, mm -hmm. which is about character, morals, etiquettes, and ethics and conduct. We teach the children how to behave in different places, how to behave in the classroom, how to behave in the mosque, how to behave in, the, in, in a gathering, how to behave at home, mm. that when you enter the house, you must make sure that you greet the people that mm. are inside the house. Mm. And when you have adults amongst you, you must make sure that also you can't have an adult standing and you are sitting. sitting. Mm. Honor your, uh, your elders. And we teach them a lot about these morals and conduct mm. so that when they grow up, these things are already in them and it's easy for them to live on these issues. And we also teach them we, that boys and girls, they are all uniquely made by the Almighty God. In the, and each and every one of them mm -hmm. has got certain responsibility, to, but together they complement one another. Mm -hmm. Not that boys are better than girls or girls are better than boys. Mm -hmm. So we teach them how to dress properly and teach them the importance of dressing we teach them the importance of also talking because sometimes many problems are as a result of how somebody failed to express themselves correctly or properly with respect to the other person. Yes, mm -hmm. differences are going to okay in life, but we have to manage how we express ourselves when yeah. we differ. Mm -hmm. Like how we are sitting here in the studio. We've got various people who are sitting here, each one of them holding different opinions and yes. beliefs. Mm -hmm. But if we don't manage how we express our beliefs and our opinions and thoughts, then we are going to have the studio erupting into mm -hmm. chaos and people yeah. grabbing each other's collar, fighting. Mm -hmm. So we need to teach our children from when they are young how to also manage conflict, conflict resolution. Sometimes we give them scenarios, a situation. In situation A and B, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. So from that young age, the children are taught. And as they grow also, we sift the knowledge according to the age. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Some knowledge it is prepared for those children who yeah, are very small mm -hmm. and when they reach the teenage and when they are now in their they 20s and the other knowledge is for the adults. Thank you so much. Let's go to the news bulletins at uh, 5 o'clock, uh, 4 o'clock, so in February. We are Risapanda Dumfa Minete, Ia Midanu Imam Ashkaraone, Isa Panda, He Ram Faraone Muromo. Risco da Brisa, Tuzurere Kuafa, Mitani, Uzibera Kakati, Zamitani, Gautu Rarisco da Brisa, Lutendo Kanavuri, Awa Rayabuna, Tepoa Commandi Mataba. I want you to see why Univen FM, the station that begins with you. Yeah, I want to zoom in at the end of Sumbe, Duvaka, Wara, Yabu, Narimbo, this can only rise up and I end up for a name from my mom in the Sapan. Yes, thank you very much. So we also have subjects such as the Tariq Islam, the history of Islam, and we have subjects like jurisprudence fiqh which teaches about hygiene personal hygiene and various uh, rules mm -hmm. that everyone ought to know in their life mm -hmm. so after having said that so you will see a child who will go to madrasa mm -hmm. and a child who doesn't go to madrasa these two they children won't they won't the be the same even because, in the adulthood stage yes mm -hmm. the quran tells us Say, are they equal, those who know and those who don't know? No. They are not equal. Mm -hmm. So you will find that those who have knowledge and practice upon the knowledge they have, they will always have a, a better position over those who don't have knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we encourage children and even adults to learn. It's never too late to learn. To learn. You mm -hmm. may be an adult person. You never got the opportunity to go and learn mm -hmm. as, an, as a young child, person. Mm -hmm. But now that you have come to the understanding of the importance of knowledge, mm -hmm. you have to start learning. Mm -hmm. And after having said that, we go to the issue that we are discussing about, which is gender-based violence mm -hmm. and uh, the solution. Now, when a person goes through this process of madrasa and upbringing, he or she will be well positioned, will be equipped enough to deal with these issues. Mm. So number one, educating people about their rights and the rights of other people. Mm -hmm. That's very important in us tackling this issue of mm. GBV. Mm -hmm. And especially as religious leaders, mm -hmm. People have to talk about these issues, speak yeah. out about the, the, the dangers of GBV yeah. and what problems it creates for our societies. Mm -hmm. So if all the, our leadership, they are talking and speaking out about this, then they would be perpetrators. Perhaps they may be warned to stay away from that. From uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Islam has got many scenarios that teach us about all these issues. Muslims who were from Mecca mm -hmm. and migrated to Medina with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mm -hmm. they saw a change of environment and behavior of people. You know, sometimes when you are here in Limpopo, people and women or men behave in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And when you go probably Gauteng or KZN, you will find yeah. people behave in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So the people who came from Mecca when they went to Medina, they realized that the women of Medina, they were not as respectful as the women of Mecca. Mm -hmm. So there was a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, known as Umar. He was also the second leader of the Muslims after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It is said that during his reign, a man came to him to complain about this seemingly ill behavior of his wife. And when he got to his house, mm -hmm. he, before he could actually have an audience with him, he had the wife of this leader of the believers talking on top of a voice like, you know, he's shouting at the husband. Mm -hmm. Now this man, he had already sought the attention of Umar. He had knocked. But now when he realized that you know, the problem that I have come here for is the same problem that this man is going through. His wife is actually shouting at him. He said, now what can he advise me? 
So he turned, he started going away. So by the time this Umar came out to see who had visited him, and he saw the man is already going away, he went to him and said, Hey man, what's happening? You wanted mm. to see me and now you are going away. He said, never mind. I came here with my problem and I realized that you and me, mm. we have the same problem and how can you help me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he advised him that you have to be patient with, mm -hmm. our, with the women. Mm -hmm. Like we are taught in Islam. You know, there is a teaching that women are from the rib of Adam. Yeah. And the rib is crooked. <laughs> so if you try to straighten the rib, what happens? It will it break. Will break yeah. So it is in the nature of women to express themselves in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Now, if you try to straighten them, no, I'm going to teach you, you, are, you must be like this or like that. Yeah. What you're going to end up having is a broken woman. Mm -hmm. And it will be very difficult to repair her. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, our environment, like I said, you, when you looked at the environment of Maka and Medina, these are completely different. Mm -hmm. So if you are from a certain environment and you come to a certain environment and you expect the people of that environment to behave like people from your environment, it's a, it's, then you are going to have a, mm -hmm. a, a, a very big challenge. So mm -hmm. we need to also learn to adapt, but also not to lose ourselves. And when we also spoke about uh, the causes of GBV, yeah. we spoke about alcohol abuse and drug mm. abuse. Mm. So one of the solutions will be stay away from alcohol and drug abuse. And we also realized that one of the causes of GBV, again, is you asked what had happened. There was issue of infidelity. Yeah. Someone was cheating. Mm -hmm. And so maybe the, 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 the husband caught the wife. And as a result, the, the husband started beating up yeah. the wife. So to avoid this, avoid extramarital relationship, cheating, yeah. and, you know, all these extramarital affairs, and uh, be it through WhatsApp. Some people were actually beaten to death because of a, yeah, WhatsApp, because message. Of a WhatsApp message. So we need to make sure that we stay faithful to our spouses and our partners. And again, financial management mm. in our homes is mm. very important. Mm. We have seen violence that erupted as a result of the husband complaining about the mismanagement of family resources or resources in the house. Money that is budgeted for the month is spent within two weeks. Food that is supposed to last for whole month is finished in one and a half week. Mm. And you will find out the men now... We, he is the one who is left with the stress of having to provide after what he initially provided was not enough. Mm -hmm. So when we learn all these issues, we will be equipping ourselves to protect ourselves from this problem of GB, GBV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to conclude, I would also say, like I said in the previous week, anger management mm -hmm. there are many things that are going to make us angry mm -hmm. but how do we behave when we are angry mm -hmm. the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or peace be upon him told us that la taghvab don't get angry anger is very destructive yeah. when you become angry the devil takes control over you and sometimes you will do things that you won't realize what you did and there are people who have killed and after that anger had subsided, they now looked at the lifeless corpse of that person whom their body that they had killed. Now they are wondering, what happened? What happened? Why did I do this? Is it me? Mm -hmm. Why? Because at that time when they were angry, the devil was now over them and he made them to do a lot of things. So Thank avoid so getting angry and you protect yourself from a lot of mishaps. Thank you so much. 0714301994